You're welcome back. This is Breakfast Central on News Central. Now it is time for us to bring you the latest stories that are making the wave in the world of entertainment. And I think Whiskey might be trending. Well, we have Gabby to give us the latest. Good morning, Gabby. Good morning, Olisa. Good morning, Oluchi. Yes, of course, Whiskey is um, in the news this morning. And just a few days after he received two nominations for the 64th Grammy Awards, um, um, in the Best Global Music Performance and Best Global Music Album category for his latest album, Made in Lagos. Nigerian superstar Wizkid has been announced winner of the annual Apple Music Award. He was named Artist of the Year um, for Africa, while The Weeknd was named Artist of the Year globally. Other winners of the award are Aya Nakamura, who was Artist of the Year in France, and HGR, who was named Songwriter of the Year. Whiskey, if you remember, broke out in 2011 with his hit single, Hola At Your Boy. He went global in 2016 after his collaboration with Drake on One Dance. He won a Grammy for his collaboration with Beyonce's Brown Skin Girl from the Lion King album. Now, his hit song, Essence, featuring Thames from the Made in Lagos album, has over 125 million plays on Apple Music and 2.8 million Shazams. It was recognized as the best collaboration at the 2021 Soul Train Awards. Imagine the first African song to ever win the award. He has been the most streamed African artist on the continent and on, on Apple Music and ranked on the daily top 100 charts in 60 con countries. Now, that's a um, big congratulations to Starboy himself, who's making Africa proud. So, uh, Gabby, Whiskey once again, Looks like it's ending 2021 in the bank. If, I, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, he just clearly had a show in London, right? The Whiskey the concert. Uh, yes, yes, yes. He currently oh, has um, his tour that's oh. happening in London for that particular Made in Lagos album. I just oh. think it's amazing. And, you know, seeing all the col collaborations that he has had, especially the one with Thames, I think mm -hmm. it's just really great. And to see them win these awards, amazing. Okay. All right. So what's up next on the entertainment scene, Gabby? Okay, so I'll take you now to um, all the way to Kenya. And in Kenya, we have, um, we've been able to have a, 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 a we have um, a YouTuber who has now finally been able to um, turn to become a rapper. Now, her name is Diana Bahati. The content creator has released a debut rap called Hatatu Chana, and it's a response to her husband's song, um, which was released a while back. The music video, which was released just 24 hours ago, has gathered over 700,000 views on YouTube already. The lifestyle and beauty blogger and wife of Kenyan singer Bahati now refers to herself as Musupa D. She shared in an interview that her inspiration came from the need to try something new for herself and it started off from accompanying her husband to his studio sessions. And she said this, I was sitting down doing vlogging and content creation not for me to remain there forever. You have to spread your wings. Content creation is what puts food on my table, among other things. So music is now my baby, and I am not willing to let go of any of them. This new queen of Afro rap has told fans to be on the lookout for her new projects currently in the works. Now here's a music video to her latest song, Hatu Ta Chana 2. So that is a very lovely song. I mean, I just think it's amazing to see someone who was, you know, creating content for YouTube now move to becoming a rapper and creating really good rap music. I just think it's amazing. And that's um, Diana Bahati all the way from Kenya. All right. Nice. Th thank you so much, Gabby. Perhaps you might want to try, you know, rapping yourself. Who I knows? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, we can go to the studio. Mic check one, two. Is Gabby on the beat? You never know. <laughs> you never know. You just want to see me do that. <laughs> Not bad. Thank you so much, Gabby. Thank you for always giving us the entertainment update. Thank you. <laughs>